What's up, buns? Final Fantasy XIV is rolling into 2023 with some updates that are permanent changes that shouldn't be swept under the radar. And yes, finally, some sort of update to retainers. Make sure to like this video if you learned something new. If you don't, then it will be punishment time. Final Fantasy XIV has been on a major crusade on Endwalker series and updating very old portions of the game. Number one, battle system changes to show when damage is magic, physical, or unique. This is most intriguing because with this change, we will see what damage can actually be mitigated with certain abilities. Dark Knight's magic mitigation comes to mind as there was really no indicator on what damage was what type, except for the usual, enemy is swinging a sword, I assume it's physical. Oh look, a fireball, I'm guessing it's magical. This is going to help the more casual player base to understand how to use those mitigations properly. Although, it's still going to require you to read your tooltips for you to understand the abilities, so... <laughs> Also, an important note here is that this is non-optional change as it will be turned on for everyone no matter what. There will be no changing it in the settings from what they've told us. Number 2. Time remaining on battle effects. This will put mini timers down below the party list effects you can see which will be really helpful in determining how long you have left until you have to re-up a buff timer. I will say my first impressions is that it's going to add more to look at and focus on rather than simplifying. Luckily, this setting is able to be turned off and on. The other limitation of this is that you can only see a certain amount of buffs and debuffs on this party list. Up to 10 can be showed. Another downside is that it's going to put more added stress on your system. So depending on what you're playing on, you may not even be able to use this at all. Even with those few negatively seeming perceptions, I think the party list is a very big go-to for how the fight is going, especially for healers and tanks. DPS roles don't utilize the party list feature as much as the other roles do. Time to make those party lists bigger in your HUD layout in order to benefit from this. Number 3. For our medium to hardcore RP players, enable auto umbrella. You can enable your character to take out an umbrella depending on weather conditions. This is applicable for large settlements, residential districts, the firmament, and island sanctuary. I'm assuming anywhere that's just not outside of a settlement or an instanced area. They made it possible to now even converse with NPCs, craft, or engage in other activities with having a fashion accessory out. Seemingly a small update, but it's something that adds and lends to the world of Final Fantasy XIV's immersion. Number 4. Although there are many other minor things, the last one I want to cover is changes to retainers. For the love of Heidelin, they've finally given us some sort of update. No, it's not a complete overhaul of a 10 plus year old inventory system, no matter how much we wish for it. They're adding major changes, the first being a technical one. The Entrust Duplicates option. This will match any materials that you have in your inventory to the ones that are in your retainer. So you have to have them in both places for this option to work. This is really a great change for most crafters and gatherers, specifically since most end game crafters and gatherers are material hoarders. Now we can easily entrust multiples of items with a click of a button. The second one is for our RPers out there, where we can now adjust the glamour of the retainers right into the retainer menu. Before you needed to grab the gear, glamour it in your inventory, then go back into the retainer menu and equip them. It seems to me that they're going back and updating a lot of these old core systems that really needed an update a lot sooner, but maybe they just didn't have the time or the budget to do it. I am well aware that these changes are nothing too extravagant or dramatic for a lot of the people who are wanting more from their MMO, but the fact that they're even starting to make these changes really show that they finally are going back and updating a lot of this stuff. I really can't wait for 7.0 to roll around because I feel like there's going to be some dramatic changes coming up. Ones that they've already said that they're going to update a lot of their core graphics, so I'm very excited for that. 2023 Final Fantasy has a really bright road ahead of them as well as 2024. If you want to join a community that has a love for Final Fantasy XIV and for playing together, then you can join my Discord down below. And make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you got any good valuable information out of this. As always, if you want to watch my entire library of Final Fantasy guide videos, then you can find those in the description box or you can click here.